Hello everybody and welcome back to Magic and Miracles where you learn how to be the magician of your life. My name is Anna and I'm your most favorite manifestation coach under the sun. Reason why? There's no such coaching program like my coaching program because I've designed it myself for the last eight years that I've been coaching people of different walks of life and because nobody but nobody spends as much time with an owner clients like I do. True story. All the information from me is below. Depends what kind of um, personality you have. I coach in audio exchange, in Zoom sessions, for the visual interaction like this and in phone conversations of which there are two kind one is deluxe for the most hand holding that i can possibly offer in my coaching program other than the speed course all of which the descriptions you'll find below and the other kind is a regular edition of phone conversations in which i cover my coaching program now today we're going to go over something that i really wanted to explain in visuals okay and this is the changing the arrows of energy towards yourself rather than towards your sp and most of you who come into my coaching have the same or less the same problem is when this person came into your life you completely forgot who you were if you ever knew that okay so this person served as a catalyst for you to realize who you are however traumatic it was however dramatic it was okay it he or she woke you up to the idea that maybe you don't have your shit together in other words and so this will illustrate very profoundly how to get your shit together again now i do recommend two to three months in coaching with me in order for me to explain everything to you that you need to understand and to go over everything um, in earnest. However, this is the short of it of how to change the arrows of the energy. And so here is um, the illustration. Okay, take a picture <laughs> if you must. This is you again. <laughs> I've gotten lots of comments from the last video about the drawing. You have a face, um, a, a smile on your face, okay? And this situation represents your aura. Now, this is an entirely different uh, video for another time, but essentially you need to invest in your aura, the kind of energies you have going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that has to do with drama, trauma, panorama, the unreleased emotions, energies, belief systems, blah, 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 blah. Lots of things that I do cover in my coaching extensively for you to get a reset on your life. But essentially in this aura, this is your kind of situation that you're walking around in day in and day out. And this represents the 360 bubble of your reality. Now notice how you are in the center of it all. And that's a representation of you being the golden buddha that you are attracting the reality you are being the focus of everybody and everything else rather than you being outwardly focused okay so pay attention this will come in handy just in in a little bit here and so i start or we start okay and in my coaching this is what i really focus on on you y-o-u universe this is how i spell universe okay we start with identity i don't know if everybody can see but i kind of had to write in the small letters to fit everybody everything in identity what kind of an identity do you have what kind and that of course includes beliefs what do you believe about yourself what do you think um, your worth what do you think about every single day going into your day okay and going to sleep at night self-love do you experience self-love or it's self-loathing most of the time okay do you do nice things for yourself etc personal development this is abbreviated clearly because i didn't have enough room um are you working on something? Are you participating in something that betters your life? Are you coming in into Anna's coaching? I mean, these are the questions you have to ask yourself in life. <laughs> so this is the number one priority that you need to invest in. Okay, without this, this is right on top of your head because it's priority numero uno. 
Then you go with health, well-being, okay? Health, and I mean physical, mental, in every department, well-being, okay? Because let's face it, you can really love yourself and personal development, spirituality, blah, 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 but then you don't eat healthy, you eat McDonald's all day or whatever the fuck, and that's no good. So you need to invest in that. Then comes Marie, uh, Maria, <laughs> sorry, money, career. <laughs> Hi, Maria. <laughs> I actually know a Maria on my channel. Money, career, job, projects. Okay, so that is an extension of you. Um, relatives, family, partner, SP, social life, interests, hobbies, and the rest of the fucking world, whoever the fuck that is. Now, look at how this is something that you choose to invest in. Okay, these are things that you're participating in, but for the most part, you are right here. So, in other words, these things depend on you of what you're cultivating up here. This is your investment in yourself, and these things then are being produced by you, by your consciousness, by your ideas, your identity, your beliefs, um, your aura, your thoughts. These are like thoughts circulating every single day, energies that are going out of you into the quantum field and producing all these things. And I'm sure there are the things that I didn't include and you can think of it like children and this and that and the other. And so this is you producing the world and so now imagine for just a fucking second with me here that this motherfucker right here <laughs> this partner of yours the coveted sp <clears throat> all of a sudden <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> <laughs> took over all these arrows and suddenly all the arrows have been abandoned for this one motherfucker, including this, but I'm not, I, I don't, okay, like this. What do you think is going to happen? Don't worry, I'll wait. A total collapse, a total collapse of your reality. Your job will suffer. Health will suffer, your identity will suffer, money will definitely suffer, your relationships with relatives and family, even though some of them you don't fucking like, social life, friends, etc. Interests and hobbies, this is your only fucking interest. And the rest of the world, well, let's face it, wasn't as important before, it's not important now. However, my point is, is that this is just a part of life. And when you bombard, you take all of this, all of your energy, and all of a sudden, this switches places with you, and you become an accessory. Now you're really going against the grain. But this is, as ridiculous as it may sound, this is what a lot of you do. And so now imagine you put this guy or girl, because I'm tired of calling them motherfucker, um, I just want to stress a point how ridiculous this is. You place them here. And this becomes your God. This becomes the ruler of your universe. By definition, this is against the laws of the universe. Because only you are the God of the universe. And you make an actor of your play, an accessory of your world, your ruler. The ruler of your universe who all of a sudden took over all of the components of your happy life. That does not make any sense. And so the idea that I, in, day in and day out, explore and explain to everybody, and I know this is very hard for some people to hear, but the number one priority, job number one, job one would be to realize that you belong in the center and always were in a center, and you can work against yourself, you can work against the universe, all you fucking want, it will never work. This is the only way it was set up, this is the only way it's supposed to work. 
even this person, okay, with all the attention that you've given them, they lost interest, didn't they? Because it's not supposed to work like that. Even though you abandoned all of these different things and this, that it, none of this became important, this is the only person that started being important for no fucking reason other than you became insecure, fearful, your beliefs told you that you don't deserve them, blue, blah, blue, blah, blue, blah, blue, blah, you lost your confidence, blah, 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 blah. Even this person with all that investment of energy left, went with a third party, divorced you, a ghosted you, etc. Yes? Yes. How I know this is, first of all, I've been doing this long enough, but energetically, you've given away too much. You've left yourself with nothing. And so, of course, you don't have them because you didn't in you went bankrupt energetically you've given away all the energy when your energy was supposed to be here for the most part because this is where your fucking wealth and bank is underlined 300 million times okay and i'm sorry if it's too small for you to read but again identity self-love personal development here health well-being here money career job relatives family like i said some of you them you fucking hate social life interests and hobbies very important i would place this even like right here somewhere before the relatives and family <laughs> and the rest of the world who gives a fuck that's the proper way of distributing energy and then and only then this, there's a reason why i put them all the way on the bottom okay because that's the last thing you need to pay attention to haven't any of you met your perfect person once upon a time when you weren't even looking when you were thriving when your life was splendid and the birds were chirping and the butterflies were flopping their wings and everything not a care in the world everything was going smoothly and voila he or she walked into your life i know i've experienced that with my person i wasn't looking for shit Okay, I w that my mind wasn't on it. I wasn't obsessing. I wasn't needy. My energy was free and happy. I was happy about myself. And I'm sure a lot of you were, uh, found themselves in this position at some point or other. True or not true? Yes, true. And so by definition, you created an environment in your life by this person walking in effortlessly. And I'm here to tell you, if you want to have your darling SP back, you need to have the right fucking spot for them in your life. And that is not here, and that is not here, or not even here, here, or here. Not the first three spots. Somewhere over here. Okay, it's so like a fifth place after you take care of yourself, your health, your money, your interests and hobbies should be here actually. And then maybe they come before relatives or whatever, however you have it. But you come first because otherwise you don't have anything to offer yourself, much less to them. And they will inevitably lose interest and energetically it, it's constructed in a way that they do because... You gave away all the energy to them. Nobody wants that type of attention. They don't. You think that they do, but they don't. You need to be attractive by pointing the arrows of energy back to yourself, back to yourself, back to yourself, back to yourself. And so if either any of these situations are missing from your life, hey, Health and well-being, back to me. Money and career, back to me. Relatives and family, whatever the fuck kind of drama you have going on with them, back to me. SP, back to me. Back to me, puppy. <laughs> and I mean woof woof. Okay, <laughs> social life, come back to me. All the friends of the world. Um, interest in hobbies, here I come. Or here you come back to me in the most amazing ways. And the rest of the world... Just about kisses my nice, lovely ass. You see how it works? Because you're in the center and you should behave like you're in the center. This is just an accessory. Don't give an accessory all the power 
that you innately hold. It's a mistake. It will continue being a mistake until you position yourself correctly. And then you know what to expect. Real life results. Thank you very much for watching. All the information for me again is below. Until next time. Ciao, ciao.